My name is Leon Bendermoen. I'm the director for modern and contemporary art in New York for Heritage Auctions. I'm standing next to the Ai Weiwei work entitled Surveillance Camera. It's an incredibly important work that we're very honored to be able to offer in our October 28th evening sale of modern contemporary art here in New York. With Surveillance Camera of 2010, Ai Weiwei memorializes the clunky apparatus of the CCTV by replicating it in marble, medium of monuments and gravestones. Here, Weiwei evokes themes of paranoia, voyeurism, and the omnipotence of a policing authoritative force. It underscores his own particular response to constant surveillance, making his life totally transparent through endless Twitter documentation. If everything is open, there's nothing to spy on. Robert Motherwell's fantastic painting, Untitled, Ochre with Black Lines from 1972 to 74. It's a wonderful work from his Open series, and we are thrilled to have it included in our upcoming auction. What's really wonderful about this painting is that it is in spectacular condition. It's so fresh to the market. It's been in one family since they purchased it from Nerdler Gallery in 74, and we are just thrilled to have it. The Open series in general really speaks to me because it feels so positive and uplifting and imaginative. And whereas with the Elegy series, you think more about death, and, and darkness, here you literally have this small door on this expansive yellow ochre background that invites you in, feels hopeful. And if you get up close to it, you can see these wonderful dashing strokes of thick, luscious paints, but at the same time, you also have these wildly gestural, smaller strokes, and together it just is a magical, magical work. Ramos's work, a, a Sinister Figure Lurks in the Shadows, is an incredibly important work in his career. In late 1961, Mel Ramos had started painting comic strip heroes, those he had admired as a child, starting with the most obvious, Superman. He followed this with paintings of Batman. Unlike other artists who attempted to represent similar figures, Ramos was always good at juxtaposing his comic book heroes with prosaic elements of his choosing. We're very pleased to present our first evening sale of modern contemporary art in New York on October 28th. Hope you will come to our venue, the Ukrainian Institute of America at the Fletcher Sinclair Mansion at 2 East 79th Street.